Thanks, Professor. Um, I think we now have a better, broader understanding of what the coronavirus is and what the impacts are if you test positive. So we now want to know a bit more about your specific and particular involvement with our country's response to the pandemic. And we've got for question three, starting us off is Sonwabo. Um, Professor, you have been advising the president as part of the coronavirus task force. What have the lessons been of this pandemic? And how will you make sure that if something like this happens again in the future, we have improved and that every child in South Africa has the same opportunities for a healthy future? That's a wonderful question. And Sonwaba, um, this is a very new um, uh, ep epidemic. So we knew nothing about this virus in, in December last year when it started to uh, appear in China. And it was called um, a pneumonia of unknown origin. And, it, in, and this, this pneumonia got worse and worse and it spread in, in Wuhan, China. And only in, in January, you know, what did it, was, it, was the virus identified. And in early February, the, vi the virus was given a name and it was given the name SARS-CoV-2. And so we know very little um, about this, this virus. Um, it, it first came, we first identified our first case on the 5th of March in South Africa, and we're learning all the time. And because we're learning all the time, and because this is a new virus that we're trying to understand, um, some of the things um, that we thought uh, were true are found not to be true, like the question around reinfection, uh, like the issues around how is it transmitted. And so, so what we have to always understand with this epidemic is that uh, we can be wrong sometimes. And, um, and because we're learning all the time, it's important to, to, to let the, the world know um, when we are wrong, and also to let the world know when we learn about new things about the virus. And we have to do this because we also have to understand how this virus affects children. And so up until now, um, children have been largely unaffected, um, but we have to keep on watching because we don't know how the, how, how the epidemic will unfold particularly as you get second and third surges. And so it's important for us to, to keep to monitor um, how, how this virus affects uh, women, um, pregnant women and, and young children. So it's a very good question. And we have to keep on looking and make sure that when we do um, know, learn more or, we, or when we know something is not true anymore, is to, to let everybody know about it. 